I believe in miracles. It's all about miracles. Here, and we're doing lesson one from the start, A Course in Miracles. It's lesson two, A Course in Miracles. We're doing here with lesson three. Lesson four with A Course in Miracles. Lesson five. I am never here with lesson six from A Course in Miracles. Okay, so I'm here with lesson seven. Hello. Lesson Welcome. eight. With lesson nine. A Course in Miracles, lesson ten. Approaching what the heck is A Course in Miracles. This is what it is. A Course in Miracles. This is my book. I am what it says I am and I can do what it says I can do. And what it says I am and what it says you are is that we are innocent. That we are innocent children of God. That we are perfectly, beautifully innocent. And that's the truth and the whole truth. If you get nothing else, get that. Get it as much as you can. <laughs> So this is just one way that some people will connect with their internal teacher. And everyone will get there. Whether they go through A Course in Miracles, whether they go through Baha'i, whether they go through 12-step, whether they go through Christianity, whatever they go through, everybody will get to the state where they are remembering their oneness with God's love. This is just A Course in Miracles. It's not the only path. Many paths will lead everyone back. And there will, it will take many paths for everyone to be returned to right-mindedness. We don't need a universal religion, but we do need a, a, re, a universal experience, and that experience is love. And that's what it states. The living in true authenticity and unlimited joy and outrageous generosity are just a few of the gifts that come from practicing A Course in Miracles. And, you know, I'm not special. This, this is available to everyone. Uh, become miracle workers by using the principles in this book. And miracle workers are basically people who extend love instead of fear. It's super simple. God is not trying to trick you. It's love or fear. And fear isn't real, so it's love. It allows us to step to the edge of our fear and imagine flight and imagine freedom and imagine what it feels like to be in full forgiveness and in full um, and fully in love with all that is. And the workbook lessons are so that you can see and be and hopefully free up the love that wants to be expressed through you. Because in the end, love is all there is and love is all we need and a, a little love, you know, a little more love never hurt anybody. Every thought we have brings either peace or war, love or fear. That's how important our thoughts are. And we have to be responsible for our thoughts and not think, oh, I, I can probably have these little crucifying thoughts or these judgmental thoughts or these jealousy thoughts or these thoughts of lack or brokenness or limitation and have no ramifications for them. That's just not the truth. It never has been, never will be. So today we're entering into the agreement that, yes, you know, we are responsible for the thoughts we think in the same way that we're responsible for the ex experience that we're having. These lessons are so beautiful and so powerful, and I know that the beginning lessons sometimes feel like, what are we doing here? But they do build upon each other, and they do help to create uh, at least an individual experience of peace. And if we all um, maintain our individual experience of peace, and if we all nurture our individual experience of peace, only then will we will truly be able to have world peace. We're not here to save the illusion. We're here to simply save our peace of mind. And in doing so, we can actually save the world. We are all living sanctuaries for God's love. You wake up to that, and you will light up the freaking world. So the question is, are you ready to be that brilliant? <laughs>